I'm Dan McGinnis here in Phoenix, Arizona. The sun is shining, the sky is blue here in Phoenix today. And wherever you are, either the sun's shining there or it's not shining. And either it's raining or it's snowing or it's not doing anything, but maybe just got cloudy skies there. But I want to talk to real estate agents today about a suggestion and an idea, sort of continuing my conversation from yesterday. You know, I mentioned I was out delivering cookies to leads, that's potential people that are thinking of selling a home this morning. And when I got to one house, I was waiting for Mary because I saw her and this tall man with gray hair go into a secluded area. And I just sort of stood back about 20 feet because they didn't see me and I didn't want to startle them. And he was talking to her and he explained to her, well, it looks like your hot water tank is out and it's going to have to be replaced. Well, then he stepped out and he looked and saw me for the first time. And I said, good morning. And then I said, hi, Mary. And then she turned around. I said, Dan McGinnis. Now, you see, I talked to this lady about a year ago, and she informed me that she used to come to the 250 family neighborhood yard sales that I used to organize in my farm area. And she had also attended the pumpkin parades. Well, this gentleman said, I don't recognize your face, but I remember you're the pumpkin man. He said, I was the lieutenant of the Phoenix Police Department, and I came out to see you in preparation for planning the pumpkin parade when we had six motorcycle police officers and a police sergeant escort the parade. Makes an impact, does it not? This man had not seen me since 1992. He retired from the Phoenix Police Department in 1994. Now I'm going to show you something here. This is a mighty grip. I decided to get one of those and give it to the lieutenant. You see, they've got my name and my telephone number, my website and my email address, although my phone number has changed since 1992. And when I handed him one of these, he said, oh, I've got three or four of these in the drawer at home. And you wouldn't believe they're still in good condition. I said, well, you've got a fresh one here with, with the correct phone number on it. And I'm going to share the rest of the story with you tomorrow. 